Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and this is Taskmaster, where every Tuesday I go up against five other YouTubers in a competition in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts to see who does fulfill a task in the best way. So, I'm going to talk about the task here as we are setting this up. The task is basically, it is 1940. We're going to go up against the French, starting out at 20,000 meters. The French do have two battleships and ten heavy cruisers. Whoever scores the most points against that setup wins. You do score 10 points for a battleship, you do score 2 points for sinking a heavy cruiser. So that's the easy bit. You can choose whichever nation you like and you can design one ship of your choosing. But here's the catch. You must use the auto design feature. So basically we must let the AI decide which ship we want to pick. And that's a little bit, uh, honestly, I'm not very comfortable with that idea uh, because the AI is just not that good at designing ships. So let's uh, think about what we want to do in light of that. We could, of course, go for a transport ship. That would be uh, not getting us very far, I presume. So if it was me designing that, I'm almost tempted to pick either a destroyer or a torpedo boat, load it up with torpedoes, stay very far away, and send a lot of torpedoes downrange against this target-rich uh, environment here, and just hope that a couple of them will uh, catch on, uh, basically staying out of their visual range. But we are not the one designing this ship, so I don't think this is viable at all. So I think we need, must go away from that idea. Also, we should note it's 1940, so they probably will have radar, and they are going to spot us at even very long ranges, so it's probably no on that one. Right, so... Basically the question then is, do we want to use any of the heavier ships? Um, again, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, I don't think that's going to be uh, a good way to stand up against this setup here. So I'm thinking either battle cruiser or battle ship. And again, if this was me, I would potentially pick the battle cruiser, uh, because it just might be good enough to sink heavy cruisers and still be durable enough to withstand battleships, um, at least for a while. But the AI just doesn't design very good battle cruisers. It, is, it, it tends to give them too little armor to my taste. So I think battleships are going to be the, the uh, weapon of choice here. Which nation do we want to pick? You know what, it's France. Let's do pick the Germans. Um, I think that's nice-ish. We could go for different setups here. Uh, I don't know. Let's take Germany, why not? Uh, let's hit design ship here and hit the auto design feature. So. We can re-roll the design, but it would cost us five points, and I'm not sure that is going to be a good idea. Let's have a look at this and decide. So we've got 12 19-inch guns. That's okay. It's not a lot. It's not uh, very little. It's an okay setup. Quadruple turrets here. These are Mark III guns. It's not great. It's not great, but it's okay, I think. Speed is okay-ish. Standard bulkheads, that's at least um, that's at least okay. Good passive protection, it looks like. Anti-Torpedo 5, triple hull bottom. Okay, Citadel, only crop 3. Ooh, the passive protection here. It's not actually that great. This is, this is a little bit, ah, uh, but okay. Um, on the other hand, we've got Generation 2 radar. We've got stereoscopic rangefind. It's a good, good long-range gunnery. We've only got a standard ammo layout. If it was me, I would want to change that, uh, simply because we're going to go up against a lot of ships. We do have heavy shells, that's nice to see. 12 inches of belt armor, 7 inches of deck armor. That's okay, I think that does work relatively okay-ish. We don't have any torpedoes, do we? No, we do have actually 4 underwater torpedo tubes with an increased loadout. And your oxygen, so you're very long range and you're 23 inches. That's not bad, actually. That might help us in finishing off someone if we are going to get into a close fight. Well, frankly, this is not a ship I would want to design um, in this way, but I don't think it's a horrible design as such. It does have okay bulkheads. I would love to see more protection here, but there's no, there's no indication that that would happen if we were going to re-roll, so I think it's going to be all right if if we're gonna go with this one. At least I don't see any reason why it should be better or worse than that. Okay, here we go. Uh, we are starting by facing off a little bit away from the enemy. And we've got a lot of these enemy guys sitting around over here. So these are, presumably these are the battleships. 
which have a lot of forward armament. Eight in uh, eight forward fire facing guns, but that's it. They don't have more than that. What caliber are your shells here? Oh, you actually do have torpedoes on your battleship. Interesting. It's also a very long range torpedo. That's a little bit unfortunate. 18 inch guns. I'm thinking you probably are going to be the same design, both of you. Can I just go there? Yeah. Seems to me like they're the same design. Uh, what have we got here on the heavy cruisers? That's very little guns here on these heavy cruisers. Only six guns on a heavy cruiser. Do you have torpedoes? I don't see any overwater torpedo tubes. No, I do. There's one over overboard torpedo tube on either side. That's that's not that much. And typically a single torpedo might be okay to dodge. Yeah, you do have 18 inch guns though. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to sail somewhat perpendicular. We do need to get our frontal guns into action. And basically these two turrets there. Are we going to start by firing at the battleships, or are we going to go for heavy cruisers instead? I think we're going to start here by targeting the heavy cruisers, and we do probably go for the light cruisers as a secondary setup. We do have 7-inch guns and 6-inch guns. They're probably not going to do much, but uh, let's see about that. Where are they actually? It's a lot of 7-inch guns. That's nice to see at least. And the completely pointless 6-inch gun on, on that... Yeah, this is really why I dislike the AI de designing ships. But, okay, I suppose it's okay. Right, um, let's turn off our torpedo tubes for now, because I don't think we should be wasting them, exactly. Okay, they are firing at us already. That's eight shells in the air. Yeah, they are facing us already, right, with their front... Phew. That was, that was a... they bracketed us there, so that's not good. Our shells are coming in over there. Didn't seem like they hit anything. So yeah. We do need to get our front turrets into action, I think. Otherwise, otherwise we're going to be toast. Okay, they are rearranging themselves to the left there. That's okay, actually. Because that means that they're going to sail away from us. And I think that might actually mean we can focus down that guy there for a moment. Let's see whether we can... Ooh, ouch. That's already 2% damage here not good but I do like the fact that a lot of them are going to the left whereas we are going to the right and only these two guys here are left oh that's a good hit there on them it's not a lot of damage but a little bit that is nice yeah but they are getting all of these guns into action right we are coming in a little bit like that that's okay I like that idea lots and lots of shells on their side Okay, I think we're going to change targets now to face off against this heavy cruiser there. And I think we can actually go... Ooh, nice hit there. That's that's good. Flooding. Damage to the torpedo tubes. He's suffering a lot of water ingress there. His buoyancy is going down dramatically here. But I think he'll probably stabilize at some point. It's probably only a few compartments that are flooding very quickly. Yeah, that is indeed the case. Okay, still we are doing damage here. And they are either going for a torpedo run or they are rearranging themselves to be in the in the back of the line there. Let's try to score a couple of hits. Yeah, nice. More more flooding. That's already very good there. How are we doing? We've got 2% left on of damage. Question is, do we want to slow down? Nice, nice. That's the first one sinking there. Uh, let's switch targets to the next one then. Got a 2% chance to hit. Okay, I'm going to go down here on the speed a little bit. I know it does reduce our protection, but it also increases our likelihood to hit them. And we have all of our 7-inch guns in action here as well, so that is nice. We are on fire, that's not good. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm afraid of with all of these small chips. They might cause... Just they might overwhelm us with a lot of fire there. 19 inch guns should be firing soon. Basically, we should have 12, 12 guns coming in against them, plus the 7 inch guns. But there we go, that's yeah, no, not quite. 
Okay, because I don't know whether there's actually any benefit to um, going only with one caliber against the shell, I'm going to use our secondaries on this guy. They're only going to use the 19 inch shells here. Uh, we do need to be slightly concerned here about their, their, the potential of torpedo tubes as well. Also, let's go straight. That will increase our chance to hit two. I think we can go at least to triple speed here. 3% damage so far on us. And one heavy cruiser sunk. It's it's so annoying that it's it doesn't feel like our ship in a way, you know? But still, still we need to steer it, we need to captain it. Sorry, are you only using some of your turrets here? I think all of your turrets should be able to reach that, shouldn't they? Maybe we need to go a little bit to the right here. Yeah, they are causing fires. I think they are using heavy explosives. Are we using all of our turrets on this guy? It's close to perpendicular. That's only one turret. Or two. We are receiving some flooding here. Why is our rear turret not used, being used here? We've got a very good chance to it now. I don't know whether they've uh, launched any torpedoes yet. That's sort of the big issue here. We almost know enough about them to, to be able to tell soon. So that's going to be alright. We're going to wait until then. There are some hits there, but I think that was just the smaller ones. Not sure where that water ingress really is coming from. Ah, oh, come on. You've got a 12% chance to hit on each salvo, on each gun, and you still manage to miss. Okay, they haven't haven't launched any torpedo yet. They've got... No, they do. They have, definitely, and it was a long while ago. How about you? You haven't. So there's a single torpedo in the water. I think we're going to throw in a hard left turn as much as we can say we've got a... <laughs> we could of course try to reverse. That would lose a lot of speed. I'm not sure that's going to be the best idea here. Okay, let's completely focus on this guy then. More shells coming in from the battleships all the way over there. They're coming in as plunging fire, so that's obviously not great. Have we scored a single hit on these guys with our main guns? Nice! Oh, that's a very good hit here. He's almost gone. And he's just, uh, just launched, just got a chance to launch another torpedo there. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. But he's still going, so he's not, he's not dead yet. He's not a very good gun platform at this point, but he already, he already shot off two torpedoes against us. Come on, just get him with another salvo, please. Yeah, he's already pumping out some of his wa uh, some of the water there. He's regaining buoyancy, basically. Come on, and we're in this very hard turn here. Twenty-three knots. Come on, one hit here, please. Why? You're already also starting to, to send torpedoes into the water. We are very close here. Come on. Come on. We must be able to get him. I'm slightly concerned that we haven't seen any of these torpedoes yet. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's one. There's a lot of guns. Okay, that should be enough. I think. Okay, they are sinking. These guys do have a torpedo left. Which is obviously not good, and they're going to fire that soon. We're not going to be able to hit him before that. Ooh, that's that's harsh. 
Yeah, and he did just launch that. So it's probably gonna come in like like here. Hopefully, hopefully this turn here. Maybe he's been off target a little bit. But this is this is unfortunate. Okay, uh, let's send off one of our torpedoes. I think at this distance that might be a good idea. Well, if we can at least. Well, that's a good hit. Right, come on. Come on. He's going down, isn't he? Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, that's a couple of them gone. Let's go back to speed here and see what's the next thing to do. Right, okay, that's I think three ships gone. Isn't it? Three? Oh, I don't know. Right. We're down to we're down by eight percent. We've got this guy over here, which is actually sailing to the right. That's also nice, because that might mean that we can isolate him. These guys are still t sailing away from us. And I actually don't think we should attack them, because it's, it's not that likely. Okay, you guys are going to turn to the right now. You do need to bring up your speed. And I'm actually going to ask you to fire on them. We've got about a thousand rounds. You know what, uh, I think we can try to target the Corbet there. What's a deck armor? Mm, six inches of deck armor. But we are going to try to intercept this guy there. He's very far away, so I don't think it's worthwhile to try to target him. Uh, but we're going to try to target the battleships, um, because if we were to score lucky hit here through their deck armor, maybe, just maybe, that would help. I'm not sure it will. Right. Okay, let's dial up the speed here. I think we can go with secondaries for him. Even though I do think it's relatively unlikely uh, that he's going to be in range anytime soon. Where are you going? Still to the right? Um, no, you're just, you're just sitting here. You are not moving at all. Well... How likely are we to are we to hit you then? Okay, let's just go straight for him. Okay, lots of shells coming for us. Ooh, this is not nice. Yeah, the plunging fire. It is it is very dangerous. Right. How's your speed looking? Top speed. I'm not sure why the AI decided to go for sort of the goofy armor layout with not the Krupp 4 armor but the Krupp 3. Oh, we did hit them. Partial penetration though, so really nothing to write home about. And um, just, what is your torpedo range, by the way? 12.6, so let's try to not get that close. Okay, we can actually shift targets here, I think. We still have 8 guns firing towards him, so I think that should be okay. I think we can dial down on the speed here. Get the nice bonus there, and hopefully that should be okay. Right, let's keep an eye on his torpedoes too. Is he moving at all? I don't think so. Oh yeah, now he's moving. Okay, let's try to move a little bit to the right then. Oh, are you now moving back to the left? Okay, if you're moving back to the left, then we're going to go back to speed here. And we're going to try to intercept you. 12.6 uh, you said? 12.6 we said, right? Yeah. Why were you sitting still like that? I don't get that. Okay, a couple of hits there off the 18-inch guns on us. Ooh, nice. Good hit there. Just racking them. 35%. Fires everywhere. That's very good. That is very good indeed. They still haven't launched any torpedoes. No, they're actually going down. Lovely. Right. What have we got here then? Yeah, I think we're just going to try to target the revanche for now. Any of the other guys are too slow. 
So four hybrid cruisers. I think that's around uh, eight points. How are we going to deal with these guys then? Let's firstly try to sail towards them. I'm hoping that some of them will break off and we can isolate them again. We lost 11% of our capabilities here. That guy is doing some weird things there. The refruit is kind of slow. Oh yeah, just look at how much they are firing in the air there. Yeah, on the other hand, we're doing some maneuvering here, so... Ooh. I was about to say, it's unlikely that they are going to score a hit, but... I completely jinxed that, didn't I? Right. Hmm, I dislike the situation. It's such a compact force there. When would we be getting into the range of, of the heavy cruisers? At around 17 kilometers, that might be soon. I'm not particularly... Oh, okay, look at that. They are coming in force, I think. So what if we say a little bit more like in that direction? What are you going to do then? We can actually go sort of to our cruise speed here. If you are coming towards us, that would be lovely. But you just might be doing funny, funny maneuvering here. This guy. Now he's gonna turn around, isn't he? Yeah. We don't have a bad chance to hit them, but I think I'm uncomfortable by this duel. They have more guns than we do. Slightly smaller caliber, but not by much. We do have the heavy shells, that's one of the good things. Do you have around 900 rounds left? They do have significantly less than that. Well, not in total. Should we be trying to send a torpedo their way? Ouch. Yeah, they're doing more hits on us than we are against them. Let's briefly target this guy because these guys are so close together that hitting of missing one might result in hitting the other one. Yeah, do you see that? That was almost the case. Almost. Yeah, not anymore. Have you actually stopped firing? No, you're just reloading. You're very well synced up there, I have to say. Historically, that would of course not be that great. <laughs> Ammo detonation here. Ouch. 77%. Ouch. Ouch. My oh my. Not a great result. <laughs> we almost hit him. We missed him so badly that we almost hit the Corbeer there. Okay, you know what? I like to see that you are coming closer. We're still going to continue to fire the battleship, but I'm thinking that this guy here. Nice. That's the first good hit here. Reduce them to 70%. That is very nice indeed. You do also have four torpedo tubes. He's still flooding, but not that badly, I think. That was the first good hit. I think the only good hit against the battleship so far. Well, there we go, slightly. Some additional hits. Not that much, though. Okay, 4.3%. I think at some point we might see that the chance hit to hit him here is going to be much better than to hit him. He's smaller, he's faster, but he will be closer. Let's, by the way... <laughs> Let's, by the way, check whether he's, whether we are on a good intercept course here. I think we are, because the bearing doesn't change. So if we... Now, we're going to pass a little bit in front of him. We might want to go a little bit to the left here. And he's now starting to fire at us. So I'm thinking that unless we do see a lot of flooding here on the battleship... No, we don't. Okay, so if that's the case, let's target the 
Brua. Even without capital guns. Mm, doesn't look like it's on target. No. We are down to 73%. He is still going strong. Okay, the battleships are still firing. We should have a fairly good chance to hit him. And we are taking the damage here from these battleships. But that, that ammo explosion, ooh, that's a good hit there. He's down to 40% now. That's good. He's very slow, too. The nice thing is there's another coming in. I think this is the fifth, sh fifth ship that we are truly engaging here. At that point, if one of the other guys has sunk one of their battleships, that's basically going to be the same same amount of points as we did for sinking five heavy cruisers. If we do get to sink him. Come on, 19 inch guns. You're on fire, that's not good. Come on, why don't you hit him? Looks to me like our frontal guns are not really in action here. No, the rear gun is actually not in action. Let's move it a little bit away. I don't want to be torpedoed either. Come on, just one more good hit on him and I think we'll be good. Seems like he's sailing away now. Yeah, he is. It's okay. That does mean he's not going to get his torpedoes in, in the water. I think with our rear turret here now coming into action. Yeah, there we go. That should be a lot more shells. Still no hits. And Louisport is back on fire. 71% 70, now. I don't want to see another ammo detonation. He should be a lot slower than... than well, he's, he's a base speed of 39 knots. As a heavy cruiser. Whoa, nice. Good, good stuff there. That's a good hit there. Well, let's see whether we can get the other guy too. Um, I think we can actually swing around and, and come towards him. We've got most of our turrets facing forward. Right, a couple of shells traveling downrange. Oh, it's only a 4% chance to hit. So it's not that great, actually. So how many of we... Yeah, I think this is this is five every cruisers left. We have 700 shells left. At that point, we probably need to start worrying about that. But 10 points so far, it's not the worst. And if we could hit him once, I think he'd be slow enough to, so that we can catch up, ultimately. Uh, speaking of, we can probably dial up on the speed here. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately we can't accelerate further. This is already five times acceleration. This would be the normal speed, which is just horribly slow. Right, okay. Come on. Just do hit him once. 3%. It's not a lot. We might want to switch back to Vermont. If we can't hit him in the first, in the next one, two salvos, I think we're going to switch. Tar okay, let's switch. Let's switch to Vermont. I think she's the more worthwhile target. And if we if we can't stop here, uh, her to rejoin with the rest of the fleet, then there's no point really trying to. It's a relatively decent chance to hit here, at, actually, at, at 5%. We're still in our turn, though. I think we probably want to go at least somewhat in that direction. And we're losing a lot of speed here in the turn. Good thing is we're only firing 8 shells per, per salvo. But it's a good hit chance, actually. If only we could get an ammo detonation on them. Come on, but 10, 10 points, that would that just doesn't sound too great. Maybe we should have re-rolled the ship? But the thing is, we would not have... We couldn't have expected it to be better. If it was bad the first time, why should it be better the second time? 
Yes, the armor could have been better, but probably would have goofed something else up. Like, already the secondaries are not that useful for us. Only the 7-inch guns, I think, have any chance of, of causing any damage to the heavy cruisers. And I don't think they actually did. Right, speaking of, uh, let's actually target you here with our secondaries. It would have been lovely if you came towards us, but you don't. What are you torpedoes, by the way? 15 kilometers. So we've got, what, oxygen torpedoes or something? Must be. Ooh, nice. Good hit there. 66. Good. That's that's a good hit. You know what? Uh, let's try to go straight towards them. We are down to 69. They are down to 65. That's actually nice. It's a very similar amount of damage here. Oh, but I don't want to get too close here because of these guys. They can properly screw us over with their small guns. It's just a lot of them. It's only six guns, guns is it? Per, per ship? Yeah, six guns per ship. But still five ships, so that's 30 guns. That does have a bit of potential. Right, um, let's try to turn to the left here. Keep the range at least somewhat open. Yeah, we're down to 68% now. So they are scoring more hits here as well. Still doing a little bit better than that one battleship here. Uh, okay. Okay, you guys are coming dangerously close. Are you coming in for a torpedo, Ron, I wonder? Doesn't look like it, but you are awfully close. I've got a very good hit chance here on the revanche by this point, so... Don't wanna... Don't wanna get rid of that, though. Let's try to keep this somewhat open. That's the Sully, too. 63%. It would be so lovely to sink you. No torpedoes in the water, yet. Okay, hit there. 62% now. Can we send a torpedo his way? It would be kind of nice to... More or less randomly... Oh, good hit there. That's lovely. Engine damage. Burning. Water ingress. Nice. Still no torpedoes on his side. Don't want to launch against these guys either with some torpedoes. Revanche is falling back to, to be the rearward battleship now that it's damaged. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate because it will maneuver and that will make it harder to hit. Uh, on the other hand, it does mean that it's going to come in slower and it's going to stay in place there for some time. It's a mixed, it's a mixed blessing. It's down to 47%. Decent hit there. Not a big one though. Didn't even change the structural integrity. These guys are now firing very aggressively here. We had 58%. We're also burning. Okay, let's switch targets here to Solly for a second. Because I think this is just too much. There's an 18 inch hit though. That's not great. I do want to avoid being completely on fire. I want to give the fire control teams a chance at least to... Oh, uh, we should turn this off. Oh, come on. That could have been a hit. Damage to the funnel there. They haven't fired off any torpedoes yet. Okay, the hit chance here is just way too bad. Let's switch back to, uh, of course, the revanche. Okay, nice. Ah, oh, come on. That hit on you would have been great on you. 19% damage points. Yeah, we're taking on some water now, and we're down to 53%. We're losing our integrity here, and that's why I didn't want to go in for the entire fleet at the same time. If we could only sink one of their battleships, I think we'd be in much better shape. Oh no, okay, that was them detecting some some torpedoes here. Must be somewhere over here. 
single torpedo probably somewhere. It's not going to change much, but... Oh, it does change that they are now running away, which is great because their guns are now not in action. Good. I like that. They still haven't sent out any torpedoes, so that's nice too. Let's keep on a somewhat perpendicular course here. Keep all of our guns in action. Look at that, we're quickly losing losing connection with him. These guys are so close that again it might be sensible to target one, hoping to hit the other one too. Interestingly, now these battleships have somewhat withdrawn. Okay, once you're sailing this direction, I'm gonna turn on our torpedoes here, hoping to maybe score a hit there. We do have a lot of them left, and we are at 52%, so I'm thinking it does make some sense to send some shots down his way. Yeah, there we go. We have launched a torpedo. Nice. And we are scoring some fires too. 34% now. Nice. Do we? He was at 40 something, right? So that's a very significant hit there. Also, I can't see them shooting us at, at us anymore, so that's good. Yeah, he's down on... He's He's got very little ammo left. If they are stopping their assaults... We might... We just might... Sail in and try to overwhelm them. Only downside that I do see is we'll all, with all of these guys having torpedo tubes... That might be a little bit suicidal. It would be really lovely to score a hit there. But I don't think... Uh, with our torpedoes, I mean. But I don't think our torpedoes are anywhere close to him. And Refuge has actually detected them, so he's probably going to turn out of the way now. Or at least later on. Prince Regent is back on fire. And you can see even even our seven inch guns here, they don't do anything against this heavy cruiser. So yeah, a, a heavier secondary battery would have gone through great lengths too to help us out here. But we don't have them, so you're turning away. Yeah, you're trying to run from the torpedo. Come on. 500 shells left. Refuge detecting more torpedoes there. Okay, we are running a little bit low on torpedoes, so let's turn them off for now. It did certainly do wonders to disrupt their formation. They're very spread out at this point. I'm almost tempted to run for revenge. She's at 23 kilometers. Okay, let's try to turn that way. Oh, we've a very, very low turning radius here. That was a good hit there. We're down to 27. Okay, there's another heavy cruiser we didn't see before. Okay, they are coming in like that. Let's try to go in this direction. We're in a maneuvering now, so that makes it even less likely to hit them. 23 kilometers, but closing. They are slow. Refuge detecting more torpedoes. She's the one detecting all of these. She does have a lot of torpedoes left, though. Ooh, good hit here. Flooding. Down to 20%. That might be... That might be 20... 20 points if we do... Get him. But look at this turning radius. If they do send torpedoes our way, we are screwed. Another hit there. 19%. They're closing in fast here with the heavy cruiser. And again, at this turn radius, 
no chance basically to avoid anything. Huh. Good hit there. Okay, let's try to turn further to the right there. Well, a single torpedo might not kill us, but several would. We've got a good hit chances now, and we are down to 450 shells, so we don't necessarily need to get a full broadside on him. I think at this point we are probably going to be more constrained by our, by our shells rather than by how much damage we are putting out per time. Notice the Corbis back to firing at us. Got a 20% chance to hit him at this point. Twenty-four percent chance. Oh, and he's shooting as us at us. Any torpedoes from refuge? Anyone? No. Not from the launch either. Eleven percent. Let's try to go towards him a little bit more so that his sh uh, shots uh, will have a chance of uh, deflecting. Ooh, we're down to forty-three. There was some um, some very bad hits here that I didn't even pay attention to. 9% and flooding. Bit of a kerfuffle of heavy cruisers here. Would like to fire on that, but I would really like to get revenge. It would be unfortunate if we ran into a random torpedo or something. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, 4%. You do have some fires. If you can't control these fires, I think we'll be good. But we're down to 40% at this stage. There's, there's a couple of heavy cruisers here that are very far and very well spread out. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice. So, Corby. Are we going to try to go for Corby? What's the hit chance here? 17% it says. Or are we going to try to go for a couple of these heavy cruisers? 3.6% chance it says. I think we're gonna go try to go for the heavy for for the battleship basically. Question is how do we run there? Okay, let's uh, order strikes on you, and I think we're gonna try to turn around this way. It's the slightly easier option, but I don't want to run through all of these heavy cruisers here. You know what? Five point two. That's that's good enough for me. As we are making the turn, we can at least go for the closest heavy cruiser here. And we learned that we only need like one or two hits on, on the heavy cruisers to really sink them. Well, two hits. I don't think we've one-shot any heavy, any heavy cruiser here, but... Ah, unfortunate. Seemed like a good, good salvo there. Okay, the Kobe is back to not firing at us. Right, let's make a full turn here. And uh, we're gonna go back to slightly faster speeds. 6.1% chance. It's not that bad. Is it? What's that for full salvo then? 20%. Yeah. Okay. I think we can go back to the Kobe with 400 shells left, 388 shells. Probably a light loadout in terms of uh, guns would have been one of the few reasons for me to re-roll the battleship and not be happy with what the AI is presenting here. Refuge, that one again. Now they're scoring a lot of hits here on us. I think most of the damage is being caused not so much by the 18 inch shells, uh, but by being set on fire by their high explosives. Which is curious, I did not expect that. I would have expected torpedoes to be, or the main guns on the battleships, to be uh, the biggest threat, basically. 
very few, very few hits here at this point. That was a good one. Maybe we can, maybe we can get them, but we're down to 39. That's, that's really little. And it's only because we're being put on fire again and again. By these, I would not have expected the heavy cruisers to be the biggest threat. Okay, still we have 20 points. It's, it's pretty much halfway what you can get. We've sunk pretty much exactly half the fleet. Half of the heavy cruisers, half of the battleships. Ah, that looked nice. No point there. Right. Okay, we need to go there. And you're ever so slowly turning here. <laughs> we are already on five times speed. It's such a slugfest sometimes. 2%, why is that so low? Aiming in progress. Why is aiming in progress? Two percent would be too low. That means we're basically scoring six hits here. Right, let's try to come in closer. I think we don't have a chance if we are wasting our precious ammunition at this range. Are we getting closer? Or are we... I think there's actually a good good rate here. No, he's going a little bit to the left, so that means we need to come a little bit to the left as well to get on a proper intercept here. What is actually your speed? 31 knots. It's an extraordinary low chance to hit him. He also seem to be basically withdrawing a little bit from us. Is even a single of their ships trying to stay in range? Don't think we can send any torpedo his way, but if we could, that might at least induce him to make some maneuvering. I'm not sure, do we have a frontal torpedo tube or just side one, sideways ones? Looks like only sideways. Unfortunate. Again, I don't really like torpedoes on zero point something chances to hit. 20 kilometers. Right. You're closing in now. At least on the seven inch guns, we do have a lot of stuff that's left. 4% chance on Kobe. 3.4 new. We are going to open fire on you if we are getting a decent shot. I'm, I'm thinking he's trying to light some fires. 4.7. The secondary is off opening on him. Okay, let's fire on, on him with our main guns. Because they these guys are so close. We almost hit Sully there with a shot on refuge. No torpedoes, just you. Very good chance on Kobe now. Do switch back to him or her. Aiming still in progress, but. Oh, she's firing on us now. Interesting. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Now you're killing our conning tower. That does bring out the chances to it down a lot. Also, we're at now 39%. And there's fire and flooding on us. 
not great. But there's fire and flooding on him. 66%. That's a good hit. That's what I like to see. Come on. Get on with it. He's, he doesn't have that many shells. 150. We basically have two twice as many shells as he got. Ah. So close. So close. Okay. Now having some hope that we're going to sink a bay. Some, at least. 66 against 38. I mean, he's doing he's doing much better in in that term. Seventy percent. It should be a seventy-six percent chance to to hit on each cell, though. It's not that likely to to not hit him. And the eighteen-inch shells are still dangerous. Come on, why didn't you hit him? Why are you hitting me and I can't hit you? I think one of my competitors last week said the very nice word of uh, if only we had hit them all, we might have won the war. Or something along these terms. Got a 20% chance there. And yet we miss, and yet they hit. Oh, that's so frustrating. 21% chance. Basically, the chance of missing here is 1 in 6, and we I don't think we've seen a hit on the last 6 salvos. So basically, it's been reversed. Although, to be fair, we don't get full 12 gun salvos, but only 8 gun salvos. Come on, guys. Yeah, more hits on us. Very little on him. Again, again. How can you miss? Something is really off here. Twenty-six percent chance to hit. That's a crazy chance to hit. And yet, and yet, we completely miss him. Nice. There we go. Okay, that's finally a good hit. Two engines down. Water ingress, fires. He's firing back though. These are not nice shots coming in. 30% damage on us, or 30% <laughs> health remaining on us, I should say. He still has nearly twice our health, but there we go, I say that. And then he goes down to 39 in one single salvo here. 34% chance to it. Come on, let's do it. Uh, he's gonna fire before us, and we're just gonna fire. He's, we're gonna fire, and I think he's gonna fire before our shells do hit him. Or oh, actually miss him, of course. 29%. He re he barely has any, any ammo left, but so do we. Only 230 shells. Thirty-eight on him, twenty-five on us. We might go down before him, but let's try to offer broadside here. Ouch! Sorry about the dog. Nice, good hit there. Some flooding. Not sure it's going to be enough though. Torpedoes are set to aggressive, so if we can launch, I think we should. No, 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 ammo detonation so, so close. We nearly got him. We had so bad luck there on, on some of these shots. Ah, that's annoying. Nevertheless, 20 points. I think it's an okay result. Let's see how the other guys uh, did. You will find a link to their videos uh, down in the description below, so do check them out. Hoping to see you guys around next week at the latest. Until then, bye-bye, do hit the like button and all of that. And yeah, pleasure to have you around.